Um, this is the Faith in God series and you need to go to the word. You know, the Bible says in the book of John chapter 8 verse 32, it says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. The truth will make you free. The truth will make you free. So when we um, are faced with mountains in our lives, we need to go to the word of God because it is from the word of God that we know the truth about the situation. I'm not talking about facts now. The facts might be real. <laughs> the facts um, might actually be on ground. Um, maybe the fact that you're in debt, the fact that you know you're 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 sick, your your body's aching, you know, all of that are facts. But there is um, a truth that is higher than the facts that we see. You know, if the fact aligns with the truth that I'm talking about, then fine. But if it doesn't, then it is subject to change. And the truth that I'm talking about is the word of God. You know, the Bible says in the book of Romans 10 verse 17, it says, Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So the word of God is true. The word of God is eternal. The word of God is truth. But the fact in our lives might be contrary to the word of God. Um, and all of that is subject, it is subject to change. So we need to go to the word. We need to go to the word of God to be able to get the mind of God concerning that matter, to be able to get the mind of God concerning that matter. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So what does the word, what does he um, do for us? What does he do for us? And I'm talking about um, having faith in God from that perspective. What does he do for us? And I'll just give like a few keys um, to be able to um, adjust our thinking. You know, when we approach the word of God concerning our situation, you know, one of the things that I believe that limits people is that they have a certain kind of understanding about the word of God, but not enough to believe that that word will work for them. Not enough to believe that that word will work for them. But it's my, it's my belief that, you know, as you uh, maybe listen to this, that, that that thing will break concerning your life in Jesus' name. So what the word, what does it do for us? The word of God tells us about what God thinks about our situation. The word of God tells us what God thinks about our situation, about our mountain. You know, let's say, for example, you're believing God for um, maybe certain things in your life, maybe breakthrough um, in your finances or breakthrough in your marriage. The word of God tells us what God thinks about our finances. The word of God tells us what God thinks about our marriage and such that any fact that is contrary to that which is written in the word of God, it's something that is subject to change. The word of God tells us what God thinks. And wouldn't it be awesome and nice to know what God thinks about the situation in our lives? I think it will be super awesome. It will be super awesome. But having that understanding alone, it's not enough. It's not enough. And I'll tell you why. You might know what God thinks, but you might not know enough for um, that to move your mountain. Number two, the word of God tells us about God's willingness and desire. You know, you need to go past. We need to go past um, the understanding that, yes, I know what God thinks, but also understand that God is also willing. God is also willing to change facts to truth, to change facts to truth, to change, to cause facts to align with the truth of God's word. God is willing. God is willing. God is willing. God is willing. God is willing to change facts to truth. Number three, the word of God tells us about the ability of God. You know, the Bible is full of stories about how God moved in the past, changed circumstances, moved on the behalf of men, wrought victories um, in marriages, in um, 
in families, in nations, in, in even in people's individual lives. The word of God is littered with um, um, gold, I would say, um, about the ways of God in the past. And it tells us about the ability of God, that God is all powerful, that God is a specialist in impossibilities. You know, the word, in addition to that, the word of God also tells us about the experience and the pedigree, pedigree of God. Not that he requires experience or he requires, um, 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 how would I say this? He requires any experience um, on his CV to be able to qualify to move on our behalf. He's all God. He's God all by himself. But the word of God tells us about the experience of God, about impossible situations, um, that was made possible not by the hands of man or by the thinking of um, anybody but by the power of God so so and finally the word of God tells us about God's desire and his love towards us so it's not just about you know he thinks good of us but he loves us dearly he loves us to give us um, his best anytime that we ask him so when we go to the word when we go to the word, when we study the word about our situation, it builds an understanding of these things about how he thinks, about his willingness, about his ability, about his pedigree and his experience in in, in turning, excuse me, impossible situations into possibilities and about his love towards us, about his love towards us. And when these things get uh, when you get hold of these things, um, your faith can be molded um, in such a way that um, you you can speak to your mountain and that mountain would move in the name of Jesus. You remember, it is not you who moves the mountain. Your job is to get faith on the inside of you and then speak to that mountain and watch that mountain move watch that mountain move um, i pray this has blessed you uh, i pray um, that god expand this in your heart in jesus name and i'll see you in the next video bye